What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is the Joyful Sojourn on voiceover because it's super loud in my neighborhood these days. And uh, yeah, so this is what you're getting. I'm sharing with you the front of my mini horizontal planner. I added some lined florals on the front and I wanted to point out to you guys, if you are curious about the Laurel Denise planners and plan to pick one up for 2025, I have a full review on my YouTube channel, but wanted to share in this video, a comparison of the two planners. So the previous release had the Laurel Denise label on the front and now it's on the back. So that's one of the main ways you'll notice the difference between an older planner from Laurel Denise and a newer planner. So, Oh, you guys. So I, I try to post these videos on Wednesdays, my weekly wellness video. I use the horizontal layout, the mini horizontal for all things related to nourishing the mind, the body and the spirit. Here I'm sharing with you the month of August. To be completely honest, it's a miracle I survived August. There was a lot going on. We had COVID in the middle of the month. We did not have daycare support and I did not do anything really wellness related. I did not do my daily devotional time. I did not go to the gym. It was just, um, I just needed to get through the month. And so it's time to get back into the rhythm. Esther is back at daycare in the mornings so I can hit up the gym in the mornings, at least starting the second week in, in September. And, um, yeah, I just need to get back to it. If you've been following my wellness journey, I've gained a lot of weight since having a baby. I've always struggled with my weight, but i really want to be healthy for her. I'm 41 years old with a toddler and it's really hard to keep up. I also really care about things that nourish my mental health, my spiritual health. And that means setting aside time every morning to read my Bible, to pray, do some journaling and reflecting and I need to get back to doing that. So anything related to wellness, anything that nourishes the mind, the body, or the spirit, I use in this planner. So what we're doing today is we are getting September set up in the monthly overview and the first week. And then hopefully moving forward, I'll get back into the rhythm of posting weekly every week's setup. I am not a huge kits person, but... Um, when combined with decorative stickers separately, I, I think I can hang with it. So I grabbed some planner Kate stickers that are specifically for the mini horizontal and I grabbed the Boho Dreams sticker book. This is version two because I really like these florals. So what I'm trying to figure out is will any of the functional stickers from the planner Kate kit match with the florals from this Boho Dreams? And I think I'm gonna stick with the navies on this one. When it comes to decorating this layout and really all of my planners, I am a firm believer in decorating in the margins before you really get an understanding of how your planner needs to function for you. In this particular planner, I like to keep the monthlies mostly open because this is where I track my weight when I go to the gym, uh, when I get my period and any other things, like if I get a migraine or something like that, the monthly is used as an at a glance, you know, perspective on general health and wellness. So I'm using these decorative stickers to kind of decorate around the exterior. And I don't often decorative date or redate the Laurel Denise planners. I really like the font that she uses, but because I have those planner cake kits. I am changing things up and using some of the functional stickers. So I'm just grabbing a few here to label the, the this week column. And this column is used for tracking my fitness watch stats. So I'm going to put my step counts in each of those navy blue boxes. And then underneath the navy blue box, I'm going to put other health stats from my fitness watch. I'm not going to do a lot of decorating in the weeklies because this is a mini planner and I want to have room to write, but a few flourishes will just, I don't know, make me happy. So that's fine. I'm just adding some dates to the left side. And this is what I will do every week with you guys. I'll update the weekly layout and kind of just reflect on how 
my wellness journey is going from the previous week and then get that current week set up. I'm looking through all of my proud sticker design icons. I love her clear icons, highly recommend, but I really like the paper icons for when I need to write something down. And that is the case with these scales because I like to weigh myself every Sunday. So I'm using these scales in the Sunday blocks and I'll write down my weight going down that left column. I use the color April Showers from Archer and Olive to just add a little bit of color. Now I'm finding the items or the icons that I wanna use for logging my kind of spiritual disciplines and my reading. So icons are just a fun way to add prompts, like a visual prompt for what needs to be written into that space. And so I'm just adding a cross for my devotional time and an open book for my reading time as well. So that goes on the left side. The right side is where I'm gonna track the food that I ate, not really adding much structure there. And I'm skipping over all of the weeklies because we'll do that together in the future. These are giant stickers from Proud Sticker Design that replicate the habit tracker page which is on the back of the last weekly. I really like seeing it on the dashboard view. So I bought some of those stickers and I'm gonna lay that down on the full page at the end of the month. I thought it might need a little bit of framing. It really didn't, but a little bit of color framing. So I took that April showers pen from Archer and Olive and framed the box just to make it stand out a little bit more. And that wasn't enough, so I added a line as well to separate between the habit tracker and the rest of the content that's gonna be on that dashboard page. As you can see from a Laurel Denise planner, all of your weeklies are in the center of the planner. So you can view your week, excuse me, your monthly, your weekly, and your tasks all at the same time. This naturally creates a little bit of a bump when you're transitioning from the center of the planner to the edge of the planner. It doesn't bother me, it's not a problem, but I am intentional about adding decor where the bump happens so that I'm not writing where there might be a slight slope. So right after the habit tracker, I'm going to add decorative stickers to kind of fill in that space and to remind me not to write there or force me not to write there. I also like adding decor in that narrow column because when you open your weeklies back up, it looks so pretty going from your monthly, your weekly to decor and then your habit tracker. There's just something really satisfying about it. And I'll flip the page in just a second so you can see what that looks like. But if you're someone who is new to the Laurel Denise Planner and you're curious about the bump created from different amounts of pages, just put something a little bit decorative on that column. It still looks good, it's still functional, but then your wrist is not you know, on the bump. I grabbed the Tyrion Design Vertical Calendar Sticker. I've been wanting to use these for quite a while and I thought it would be fun to do a one line a day this month in this dashboard page. I don't know what it's going to be, if it's going to be something that happened that day, if it's going to be something about Esther, maybe it's gratitude, but I just knew I wanted to do one line a day. One thing to note though with these stickers, they're super condensed and they do not align with the dots, so I'm gonna have to write super small. Now I'm just laying down some decorative stickers and a decorative box over the habit tracker page. I've laid the habit tracker sticker down, I don't need it, and it's just, I don't know, a little extra something when I get to the end of the week. I think we've gotta do one more thing, but this is how it's looking so far, and I'm really liking it. Last step is headers for my different habits to track this month. I grabbed the April showers pen again, and we're gonna go with steps. I like to log when I make 5,000 steps or greater. I still need to ramp those up, but I'm sticking with five for now. I wanna track when I read, when we eat out, when I do my daily devotional time, and of course, connection and movement. And we are done, friends. We used the Casthetic Plan Sticker Book, Boho Dreams Volume 2. We used icons from Proud Sticker Designs. That vertical sheet was from Tyrion Design. 
And of course we have the planner Kate boxes. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope to see you guys regularly on Wednesdays with my weekly wellness setup videos. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video.